Okay, ladies and gentle dudes, here we are rolling. My other better camera on my computer stopped working today. This Windows 10 is just driving me crazy. It's stopping all my old programs from working. And I can't go back to Windows 7. They gave me a free upgrade. I never do that. If you haven't done it yet, just don't mess with it because it will screw everything up. Everything on my computer now doesn't work. Everything I own was recording equipment. Uh, everything ran on Windows XP. They stopped upgrading Windows XP. This is like going to be the iPocalypse when I have to go and uh, sign up to use some iPhone or iPad or i I fuck you up the ass or whatever else I have to use because I, I've never had any Apple stuff, but now they're this Windows is just driving me fucking bat shit crazy. But anyway, I that's not why I made. Welcome to part two of the iPocalypse. When everything Windows is totally destroying your computer and you have to finally go to an i iPad or iPhone or i whatever their computers are. I've never had one any iPod or anything i anything by Mac or by Apple I've never owned, but so far the last couple years um everything by Microsoft is just driving me absolutely batshit crazy and it's a all my programs no longer open up since I switched over to, uh, to, they asked if you want to upgrade from Windows 7, which was a terrible, Windows 7 was so terrible, then I upgraded to Windows 10, and it made it twice as bad, so look at my programs, I used to be able to open up programs like my, um, and I just made videos the other week, and now they won't work anymore, web, let's go to webcam, Here's webcam. As I used it all the time to make videos, and now all of a sudden with Windows 10, it's not working. So here's what it says when I try to open up my webcam to make videos. I'm right now taking everything off my computer and putting it onto my portable uh, hard drives. I have a couple terabytes in each one of these hard drives, so I'm moving everything over so I can reboot my system back to factory settings with the Windows 7 because I thought it was bad. Okay, here's my webcam. Let's see if it's going to work today. No. Okay, so it says HP Media Smart Webcam has stopped working. Windows is collecting more information about the program. This might take several minutes and then it, it'll tell you after a moment you can't open it and the only thing you could do is to get out of this is it'll close the program. This is what's been happening with all of my HP programs. I have a, this program, this computer is uh, like two years old. It's a really expensive computer. I got it for seven hundred and fifty dollars, but it was list priced at about two thousand um, dollars. This is the uh, HP Pavilion Entertainment PC, which is should all these programs worked perfectly before I upgraded to Windows 10. Now nothing works. I've tried to troubleshoot every possible thing. So the only option it gives you is to click here or click here, and it'll both ways it'll close the program. So it says close program. If you hit here, if you go here, it does the same thing. It closes the program. Okay, let's look at some of my other programs that no longer open either. Okay, there's other cams. Let's see. Uh, camera. Okay, this one's we used to work pretty good before. And now it's all blurry. So I made videos before I switched to Windows 10, and it just became all blurry after that. Let's see how it works today. Oh, it's a little bit clearer today. Okay. Well, yesterday it wasn't working too well, so so at least one of my programs are working. Now, you want to see what happens if I try to open up a Word file. Okay, let's just go to uh, Colors on my radio show. That's my most recent Colors on my radio show. Let me open the old one because this is my newest one's called Colors on my radio show. The old one is called Colors on my show. No, I don't want to give out numbers, so I'll do this one. Okay, open this file. And this is how all my Windows works now. I don't want to show phone numbers. What happened to the... Oh, shit. I'm showing phone numbers. Okay, let me sh try to do another one. Let's do... Uh, I didn't mean to show people's phone numbers. I actually had a whole long spiel I gave at the beginning of my show at the beginning and I guess I just deleted it when I sent it to a person I thought I copied it I guess I cut and pasted it okay so let's go to another one let's go to access okay access that's another word file access clearing doc let's do this one there's t I have tons of access clearing okay so this is 
how when how Word looks now. If I don't highlight the damn fucking text, I can't even read. I can't even read it because it shows up black on black screen. I've tried every way to to change this back to a normal screen. I I've gone through everything in this Windows 10. I can't figure out how to get it back to normal. So this is how all my Word files look. And if I had to change these to purple so I can see them. If they were in black, they would just be black on black. So I had to change it to purple or green. These, it automatically comes in green. So if I just open up a new Word file, look here, I'll just open a brand new one. Okay. It's all in green. It's green on black. But if you open up any other Word files where you have any black font, you won't be able to read it. And if I send this to someone as an email or as an attachment, they'll get it all in green on white paper, which is really crazy. So they have to change it back to black font. I don't know how the hell this happened. Um, but anyway, this is what happened after... No, I don't want to save that. This is what happened after I, I switched over to Windows 10. So if you, if you get asked to win, switch to Windows 10 and you haven't been stupid enough to do it, don't do it. Because it's a total fucking nightmare. I can't open up half the stuff I used to open up. If I try to... Some of my other things like video editors. Okay, Corel Video Studio 12. This used to be really good for editing videos. Now, if I try to edit two or three videos at the same time, like I put a few of the videos I made on a camera into one video, it'll crash on me. And it never used to crash. And this is the same thing that happened with all my all my other computers. Like this is my computer up here. I have another laptop up here that uh, was Windows XP. All my Windows XP computers ran my uh, software for recording, which I have um, at the time was the best when I bought it. Was uh, what's the recording program? Recording audio. Uh, it's called Pro Tools. So all my Pro Tools works on worked on Windows XP until. Microsoft decided they're no longer going to update Windows XP and all of them stopped working on all my Windows XP computers and there's no way to upgrade the computers um, because Windows stopped up updating Windows XP so all the money I spent to buy all these programs they no longer are usable on Windows 10 or Windows 7 which is complete stupidity so I have to go out and buy thousands of dollars now of programs if, I'm, if I want to do professional recording. And here's my video stuff. So I'll show you what happens if I try to, uh, now, since I switched to Windows 10, let's just uh, insert timeline. I'm going to insert a few videos. Insert videos. Okay, so I'm going to go to, and look at this. If I want to check, like, uh, for example, I want to change it to different viewing method. It doesn't show here. I can't see how to view it. And I can't view any of the videos or any, uh, what do they call them? Um, any pixel files? Uh, any picture, picture files? I can't see them. And I've tried to every, to every function to try to get it so I can see them, and I can't see them. So I'm going to go to libraries here, go to pictures okay actually this is, I'm moving all the pictures over so I better go to videos I have all my videos in pictures which is because it's that's I, I haven't figured out how to change every time I plug in my camera to transfer over it always transfers them over to pictures all my videos but I haven't figured out how to change that either so anyway what did I just do I'm gonna go back to the libraries I'm gonna go to the videos this time okay we have pictures documents videos here we go I don't have that many videos, but let me just take an example here, Rosina. Okay, here's two videos by my daughter. Now, if I wanted to normally see the like a pix, uh, picture of the video, so I know what video I'm using, used to be able to do this. Okay, look at this, not responding. All my programs are not responding or closing out. Okay, it, it did it, it worked. So one video is there, let's see if both videos are there. It did the one. Okay, it didn't do two. So I'm going to put the other one and see if the whole program doesn't crash. So these are just one video I made of my daughter in my car. And I'm going to put the other one. I'm going to try to uh, edit them a little. And you're going to see that it crashes the program now that it's Windows 10 because Windows 10 really sucks. Windows 7 has so many problems too, but 
The, only, the best one I liked was Windows XP, but they don't now allow you to update it anymore, and all the old programs they used to run on it stopped working after they stopped updating. So I, I think they put some kind of virus in it to destroy it because they don't want Windows XP anymore. And I try to send my computers to get uh, serviced in Japan where I live. They say, sorry, your, your program is Windows XP. We can't service your, your computer anymore. Like, okay. So I bought a computer at a computer store. One year after, this is this one. It's a Panasonic. No, it's not. What is it? Uh, let's look. Okay, this one, Toshiba. Okay, I bought this in America. It's a Japanese, made in Japan, Toshiba. Because this is an English operating system, if I were to say this, after exactly one year, this notepad stopped working. Exactly after the one year warranty ended, it just stopped working completely. So I want to send it to Toshiba in Japan. They say, sorry, we can't work on your program uh, because it's an English operating system, so I'm screwed. If I send it to the U.S., it'll cost all kinds of money, and, and I've tried to do that, and they've said, oh, now you have Windows XP. We don't, work on, we don't, we don't actually work on Windows XP anymore. So you're going to have to put a different... Op so my computer doesn't open, but I have to freaking put a different operating system in it somehow t before they'll actually do any maintenance on it, which mm -hmm. is just totally ridiculous. So this is what I call the iPocalypse, when we're all going to have to switch to Mac, whether we like it or not. I, I never used Mac. I never liked Mac. I tried to use it in my recording software days at, in college, and I just couldn't figure out how to ever use Mac. So I never bought an iPhone, I never bought an iPad, I never bought an iPod, I never bought anything by Microsoft, uh, what's it called, um, Apple. But it looks like Microsoft is going to keep getting worse and worse and worse and worse until I'm going to be forced to finally use Mac. And I have never wanted to use Mac because I can never figure out how to use it because it seems so complicated to me because I never, I wasn't raised on it. So I guess if you were raised on it, you probably know how to use it, but I wasn't raised on it. I was raised on the stupid Windows that keeps getting worse and worse every year. Okay, so we got two videos here. So let's try to edit them and see if the whole computer doesn't crash. Okay, speech, Rosita. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what it would be like if I were to... Let's just have these two videos. I'm not going to even edit them. I'm just going to keep them both together. Okay, so I have one compu one small, it's only how many minutes long? I'm going to sh shorten this up. Okay, it's only two minutes long, and then I have another video here that's uh, less than, it's so small it won't even show when I do it like that. Okay, here it is. The next video is like not even a few seconds. Let's see. Okay, that's all. So I'm going to put these two videos together just to show you now that Windows 10, I upgraded to it, everything just seems to not work. So let's see if these two programs together get, I'm going to put it into one video, create a video file. I usually create WMV because more people can open those and I don't want to do it completely as big as I could, but I'm trying to save memory. So I do it the next one down. Okay, I'm going to call this test. And I'm going to put it in Rosina's speech folder. Okay. Okay, it seems to be working. I'll come back because lately everything's been crashing as it's saving. So we'll see if it doesn't crash this time. But it's, it seems like if I were to cut and paste more videos into one thing, I've tried to put three or four videos, it'll crash by now. But I think just these two small videos because they're a total of two minutes and 30 seconds it's not that much but I've tried to put like an hour worth of video to put it all in one DVD and it just totally crashes everything now so if any of you guys have any suggestions on how I can make Windows 10 or Windows 7 now comp work because it's just killing all my programs um, help me out here because it's just driving me crazy alright thanks a lot okay same thing Corel Video Studio has stopped working a problem caused the program to stop working correctly. Windows will close the program and notify you if a solution is available. This has happened a million times with all my programs since I up so-called upgraded to Windows 10, which is a total lie because it's not an upgrade, it's a total destruction of your computer and I'm going to take back my computer. I'm right now transferring all my files onto my 
many uh, external hard drives so I can reboot the system to factory setting which was Windows 7 which was not as good as Windows XP but all my computers with Windows XP no longer work because they put a virus in it last upgrade to destroy your computer if you keep Windows XP that's what they basically did so you have to buy new computers so that's what happens if you try to make a video now now I'm taking forever just to move over some of my pictures files it's been doing this for almost an hour 99 percent complete now okay you are you sure you want to move this file yes I'm sure what is it no longer works correctly Windows or another program may no longer work if you move this file okay I guess I'm gonna skip this file because this is a I don't know why this file it's called desktop oh desktop okay yeah I can't move my whole freaking desktop oh, that makes sense okay I skip that one what's this one desktop too skip that one do this to all ones we're gonna skip them all okay so that's what you don't want to ever do is upgrade so-called upgrade to Windows 10 it's a total nightmare if you haven't tried it yet and discovered for yourself alright peace out